All right, guys, today we got a 2015 Mercedes GLA 250. This thing's got a bad popping noise. We're going to show you a really cool tool to find these problems and uh, pinpoint them down and not guess with them. So let's get into it. So we've got this vehicle. When you drive it down the road, slow speeds, it sits there and goes, dunk, dunk, pop, 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 pop. You make a turn slowly. It gets a little worse. You make a turn aggressively, it kind of evens out. So we've done a little preliminary inspection on it and we've noticed this is a 4Matic, so this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. And we've noticed that the passenger rear tire is new. We looked it up on Carfax. It was 13,000 miles ago that it was replaced. It's about 9.30 seconds, 8.30 seconds. Um, the driver's rear tire is sitting almost on the wear bar, about 3.30 seconds. We're gonna show you that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the Automotive Test Solutions um, IVA, which is Intelligent Vibration Analysis uh, Equipment. It's also got sound where we can pick up noises. So we're gonna hook that stuff up. We're gonna show you how we hook that up. We're gonna show you how it works. And then we're gonna take this thing down the road, pinpoint where this thing is coming from, and uh, let's get the answer. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna, we're gonna get it up in there. We're gonna show you how we hook this stuff up first. So let's do that. So first, first thing, let's look at these tires, okay? Uh, we notice this tire, we can see wear bar, we're at about 330 seconds on this tire. We come over to this tire, it's like brand new. So that generally is not a good thing on an all-wheel drive vehicle. Two front ones need to be done also. Look at this guy. I don't know if y'all can pick that up on there. Oh yeah, you got a good, good view of that one. So clearly needs tires on it. It's a Mercedes. I need to put four tires on these, on these vehicles. Um, so here's what we've got. I drove down the road and um, or Clayton drove down the road. <laughs> and I'm not, not saying to do this. I'm just saying I did this. Uh, speaking of which, I don't even know where they are now. Uh, I hung my head out the door with the door open and kind of could hear the noise coming from the back and dropped my glasses, we almost ran over them, we had to back up and get them, but anyway. Um, so, we feel like it's something back in this area, we don't know what it is, we kind of have some ideas, but we want to prove it out, we don't want to guess. So this is what we've done, gone to the rear diff, and we've got the yellow channel on the rear diff, I don't know if you can see the yellow band on it, but we've got the yellow channel on the rear diff, okay? These are just noise clamps, okay? There's different clamps for vibrations and for noises. We've got the red, lead on the uh, driver's hub so we can listen to this wheel bearing. We've got the green lead or channel on the passenger hub to listen to this wheel bearing. And then even though I don't think it was coming from up in this area, we've put this where it's close to the um, center support bearing. Just in case something with that, with that joint is messed up, uh, we'll pick it up here. Um, we're probably going to get a lot of stuff from up here just because of where it's at, but but we'll be fine with that. We'll see if it's coming from that. We've got them run. So just so you see how we've got them run. We've got them run where they're away from everything. We pulled this down, kind of ran it through here. All we did was pull one bolt out, run it through here. We've got some tape on it. We run them up. This is just painter's tape. These are magnets, So, but this is a, a not a, a metal uh, fender. But we got this tape on there, painter's tape, it's not gonna hurt the paint whatsoever. Back here, same thing. We've got the magnets kind of holding it up here. Okay, and then we run it up, taped it to the shielding, come around, and we taped it to the door and up onto the window. We'll show you that from the top. This side we haven't gotten taped up yet, just because we gotta get the cameraman into the car, into the back seat. So we'll tape him in once once uh, we get that done. So Let's lower it down. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him in the car. Get this taped up and through the window. We want to put these through the windows. We don't want to close them in the door. Um, if we close them in the door, I, I'm always worried that we're gonna pinch something. So we put them through the windows and we don't close the windows all the way. We leave them gapped. All right. So uh, we're gonna lower it down and then we'll get him in it. And we'll go from there. Okay. Just really, real quick, want to just uh, show you this. We do have it taped to the window here. We're gonna tape it to the window on the other side. Um, just because we don't want these things plopping around. We don't want to hurt the paint. So we just make sure we secure it really good. Okay. I, I, I know that's pretty straightforward, but just want to show you guys. All right. So we're going to get cameraman in and we're going to get this side taped up and then we'll be good. All right. So we're in the car. 
here's the tool. We've got the software pulled up. We've got the interface and we've got the four channels from the um, clamps into the interface. We've got it hooked to the tablet and we've got the uh, this cable hooked to the DLC in the car so it does pick up the car information. So and that's really helpful when you're doing vibrations and things. But So if we go here, we see that it's got the vehicle listed. We've got the VIN number. Everything's in. We're at all-wheel drive. Um, we've got four microphones, and we're on wheel suspension. We don't really worry about that. We see we have four green lights, so we're good to go. So we go over here to live graph, and we're going to hit start testing. All right, and then we're going to get it. All right, so right off the bat, we see that the blue one, has got a lot of noise in it. It's close to the engine. We're sitting on the body stuff. We're not like right on that bearing. I figured that, but we are gonna look to see if there's any kind of um, deviation in that or any kind of um, problems with that. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna get on the road and we're gonna get going down on the back road that we've got over here going slow and then we'll come back and we'll show you, um, once we get going down the road, we'll show you what we're looking for once we get the noise made. So let's take it on the way on the road. So we're driving the car. And we can see the blue one is doing what it's kind of was doing before, but look at this yellow one. So it's doing the noise right now. So right now we're hearing a pop, a pop, a pop, a pop, a pop, a pop. So we, it's, it's like jamming back in the back, okay? Matter of fact, it's getting pretty aggressive right now. So I know it's not this blue one because the blue one is not changing at all. It's just constantly just kind of got all that garbled mess. So I'm going to turn the blue one off. Look at the yellow one. See that pop, 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 pop. All right, these are all, this is the noise. This is the noise right here. Now Clayton is turning a little bit and it's getting a little more aggressive. All right, so we definitely have a lot of noise coming from that, from the diff. That's the one on the diff. Now let's turn it off and just look at the green and the red. All right, so remember the green and the red are the two, are the two uh, wheel speed, are the two, bearings wheel bearings i'm sorry so we're definitely not seeing anything on the red the red looks really nice it's picking up as you see this picking up a tiny bit of that popping but it's not like that right so so we it's not the red the red is beautiful the green on the other hand we've got something going on with that green so let's turn the red off well let's compare the green to the red first so the green and the red are on the same exact component on different sides. So we can see there's an issue with that wheel bearing on that, on that uh, passenger side. So, sorry guys. All right guys, that was my wife calling, so I had to answer it. I apologize, can't ignore my wife. So uh, let's keep going here. All right, so we're gonna accelerate again. We're gonna get to it again. Look at this. Look at this green one though. Just right now, just accelerating. Look at that green one. All right, let's ease it up. Compared to the red, the green is is just crazy. Now we're not hearing wheel bearing noise on this car, okay? So my question is, do we have a bad wheel bearing that we can't hear that we wanna definitely take care of while we're taking care of this diff? Because the diff is definitely bad. We can see that, it's popping all over the place. Let's turn that green off. Let's turn that red off. Let's look at just the yellow. It's clear as day right there, guys. Clear as day, what's making the noise. All right, it's definitely not the blue. It's not the center support bearing. It's just making noise because it's a bearing spinning, right? We're up in the middle of the car. We got the, we're got we on the kind of body area. I'm not worried about all that, okay? This is the problem. The rear diff is the problem. But look at the wheel bearing compared to that side. Let's go ahead and accelerate a little bit. I mean, look at this, that's crazy. So now, what we need to do is, now here's my only thought on this. You just want to make sure that we don't, um, I just want to make sure that we don't overlook something here because we're not hearing this wheel bearing noise. So my only thought on this would be, could it possibly be the fact that that new tire is on that side that's making the noise? Maybe it's creating, because of its, its the fact that it's taller, maybe it's creating some kind of vibration over there or creating some kind of noise that we're picking up. So what I want to do is go back to the shop. I want to swap these two tires on the rear. And then let's see if that if that noise um, continues or you know moves to the other side. Okay. So we're gonna head back to the shop. We're gonna swap these two tires. We know what the popping noise is. The popping is from the rear diff. 
we feel like I'm pretty pretty confident that that's happened because of the tire you know the difference in tire sizes it's not different tire size but just so y'all know it's the same size tire that we put on you just have got a different uh, height and a different circumference really because of the wear and this is causes issues on all-wheel drive vehicles so I know on some Jeeps and stuff you can rip a transfer case out really quickly I think Subaru is really really bad about this if you don't if you know you've got to put the right you got to replace all four tires at the same time so but I want to be sure that we don't condemn a wheel bearing on this on this right rear um, and it's just be because the tire is causing that issue so we're gonna head back we're gonna swap them and then we'll be come back to you and we'll see so we've got the two tires swapped Clayton's got the two tires swapped appreciate mm -hmm. that Clayton mm -hmm. um, we're back out here we're gonna take it down slowly to over here we've got we're, I'm gonna turn the yellow off because we already know what's going on with it so let's go ahead and take it go ahead and just kind of run it up medium speed we don't need to get the popping going we're just kind of looking to see we can already see that it stayed with the green side so it stayed on that side I mean look at this my gosh so this is clearly a wheel bearing issue on the passenger side that we would have never picked up on had we not had this so this just you know it's just an awesome example of you know the power you know the, the 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 power of this tool and what it can do for you so we're going to head back to the shop and um get this thing where we can get it buttoned up and uh we got the answers now no doubt about it we got a rear diff and and a uh well, a wheel bearing all right we're back at the shop we've got this thing fully diagnosed we know what the problem is i mean Think about this, we, we've determined this problem 100%. We're not guessing. This is one of the hardest problems that you'll run into, noises and vibrations. We deal with these things every day. They're really tough. We can't get it to do it on the rack. We can't get it to do it in the shop. It's gotta be on the road. And I'm literally hanging my head out the window and then I'm like, let's hook this thing up. So this thing found the, the rear diff and not only that, but we found that, that wheel bearing. Now we're gonna be able to do a complete job, 100% quality craftsmanship and be done with this and, and, and um, provide a great service to our client. Gonna save them a little bit of money doing that wheel bearing when we do the rear diff. So we'll link this thing in the, in the uh, down below. You wanna go on their website, take a look at it, see what you think, give them a call. Uh, they're very helpful. They'll answer any of your questions. Now leave questions down below. I hope you really like this video. I hope it helped you. If it did, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps us, you know, to, to get those subscriptions, get that reach out there. Hit that notification bell so you know when we're going to drop when we drop a video. Really appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one.